Now That's let's talk true. Mac Jones because he had his pro day yesterday and a lot of people feel like he bombed it. He's had two pro days. He missed a lot of deep throws yesterday. He's not an athlete. And you know what? There's something in his background that people don't talk about. He had a DUI when he was like a freshman at, at uh, whatever, Alabama. Doesn't mean he's a bad guy or a criminal. It's just part of his background. He's not the cleanest prospect. Um, do you think? A black was spot. It? Yeah, exactly. I mean, trade up to three. There's some questions about him. Uh, also, look at his body. I mean, he looks like a guy who doesn't lift weights and probably drinks four <laughs> beers a night. He looks like that. So uh, yeah. my question is, Kyle was there yesterday. This is EJ's question. Do you think Mac Jones helped or hurt his case at number three in Kyle's mind? Watching that in live. Watching that live. <laughs> I'm absolutely sure that he heard that. Heard it? Yep. Yeah. I'm pretty sure of that. Well, much much uh, harder to justify taking him now, right? Yeah. If we are yeah. talking about the prospects right now, who we can choose, who we can maybe choose during the draft. There is Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, and Mac Jones. Yes. Those are the most favorites, uh, the favorites uh, for the 49ers to draft. Uh, and I must say that I do think that Mac Jones is the safest pick. Because he proved himself, maybe he doesn't have the deep ball that all the Niners fans want to see right now, but he proved himself that he is good under pressure. To be honest, he is the best under he pressure. He is. He's very good. I like Mac Jones a lot. I like him very much. Yeah, but... I prefer played, him to Justin Fields. Yeah, but he played at Alabama. He did. And, um, you want to knock Fields you ever seen... an all-star team? This dude was yeah. on a better team. Yeah, and have you ever seen an Alabama quarterback succeed in the NFL? Not in a very long time. Nope. Neither do I. So, I that's, that's a black spot again against uh, Mac Jones. But I still think that he is the safest pick from those guys who are who are available at number three pick. Yeah. Um. A couple things bother me about him, though. The fact that, look, he played at Alabama, and you have to wonder how much of that supporting cast helped him. You put him in a setting like a pro day where it's just regular receivers. You're under, you're doing a script, and you're doing stuff that everyone else has to do, and he doesn't look good. All of a sudden, his lack of athleticism shows up. That's not great. And then the fact that he has that thing in his background from when he was a freshman doesn't help matters. And then the, the big thing to me, not the pro day or what, what he did as a freshman, those are just things to keep in mind. He lacks experience. You look at him and he's like, well, he's polished. He's a polished yeah. pocket passer. The dude threw like 570 passes in college. That's not a lot. And even, uh, pocket passers take a lot of time to develop in the NFL because it's way harder. I mean, the coverages are more comp complex. The pressures are more complex. This, the pressure's on you faster. I mean, just because he has, you see like, oh, look at him now. He looks like Tom Brady on Alabama now. He may really struggle as a rookie. Really yeah. struggle. Yeah, he may, but um, I do think that he can have a great supporting cast in the 49ers offense with George Kill, with all those yeah. great running backs, with uh, Debo Samuel, who is a really great pass catcher, pass catcher, yes. not just a, a runner, and with Brendan Ayuk, who, is, who was, I think, the most underrated rookie wide receiver. It's true. Last. It's true. So he can it's have true. that perfect... Um, he won't have the offensive line he had at Alabama, but he can have everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say one thing, um, and then we'll move on. But I've felt this way for a long time. Uh, I prefer Kellen Mond to Mac Jones. I really do. I like the way Mac Jones plays the quarterback position. He's got the mental side of it down. He may have some physical limitations in the pros that don't show up at Alabama. Uh, Kellen Mond, I also feel, has the mental side of it down. I think he really plays quarterback. I think he has the ability to scan find the open receiver, and I think he's got the athleticism too, kind of like Zach Wilson, except Mond's going to be available and Wilson may not. Um, I really do think Mond could have put up and won all the games at Alabama that Mac Jones did. And the thing that's nice about Mond is he threw like 1,400 passes in college. He started so much. He has experience, and I think that's another – you know, they talk about like checking boxes. It's just another thing that's good, another thing that, that, that he can check off as part of his – resume yeah. that other quarterbacks can't yeah so if they take That's Kellen Mond at three though I think everyone's head would explode I'm just saying yeah. I like him better than Mac Jones if Mac Jones is in the conversation you've got to consider Kellen Mond because he's a better athlete and he's really a comparable 
decision maker, field reader, anticipator, stuff like that. 